Yeah, good afternoon and uh, very unusual probably for you to see an airline CEO. I should be doing something else with all the issues an airline has. But uh, we set something up which is unique in the world. We're the first airline having a blockchain program at all which is working already for a while. I was speaking here last year about our ambitions in the space. Uh, and if we jump in a loyalty program, you all might have cards from um, loyalty programs. We have one today. Baltic has around 850,000 members of its loyalty program. Nothing to do with the blockchain. And um, we also have the option that you can pay with the points you gave for the program. That's new. You can pay for your ticket, so just reduce the cost of your ticket. Um, and 35% of these points were used. So it's, a, it's an active functioning program and growing as the airline is growing again after COVID uh, will soon exceed a million members. So we have a base uh, if it is about a loyalty program. If we now go back to blockchain, Air Baltic in 2014 was the first airline in the world accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment. And there might be people in the room who didn't know Bitcoin in 2014. Air Baltic at that time accepted it as a form of payment and does today. We were then also the first airline in the world to issue an NFT, where a lot of people in 2021, in the beginning of 21, haven't heard the term. Now we are on conferences all over the world, and NFT has arrived. And we are now the first airline having um, the blockchain integrated in the loyalty program. Uh, what you can see, that little card, that is already an NFT if you would be at the top tier of the loyalty program. How we started, and I was here last year talking about it, we issued uh, the 12 most beloved Latvian cities, which are also on Air Baltic's airplanes. Each of these cities got an NFT um, in different quantities. This NFT was uh, it sold out today, uh, some on the secondary market, but this was for us to learn everything about uh, that technology because we were very early and there was nobody else doing this. Um, it helped us a lot to do what we're doing today and, and there will be something happening around this collection in the future because this was the Genesis collection of Air Baltic if we talk about NFTs. But what we did last year, we uh, brought the world's first NFT travel program. Yeah? You see Captain Planey here. Um, what we developed in-house, and, and we have uh, uh, Arthur sitting here uh, there from the beginning. It's an in-house team in Air Baltic with expertise, which we got from outside having it today in the company. We are developing, developing all of this on our own here in Latvia. And um, we have developed something where in the NFT space, a lot of people complain about you have an NFT, but there is no utility. So we have an NFT which has a utility and it's all around the utility in this NFT and not so much about the picture. So what you do with the NFT, which, which we have, you collect loyalty points without flying with the airline. That is the first unusual step because normally you would only collect points in any loyalty program if you interact. Like a Rimi card will only give you points if you do some shopping. Owning this NFT gives you per day 20 points. And I'm not advertising for the NFT. I'm just trying to explain what is different and what we're doing. Um, you can redeem these points you get, as I showed before, against cash by reducing ticket prices if you buy a ticket, or you can get free flights like it is with airlines. Um, you can also now hold the top tier. So airlines normally have different categories. There's the basic uh, flyer, uh, then there's the frequent flyer, and then you have the top tier where everything is included. You go fast track, business lounge. With this NFT, without flying on the airline, if you buy enough of them, you can uh, become a top tier member. You also, as we have a Discord, and you identify yourself maybe with the NFT, this is coming from the punks and the board apes, you are part of a community of 10,000 uh, people because there will not be more than these 10,000. And um, you are a collector of art. So also this part is for some people very important because at the end of the day, each of the planes is unique. And um, you have the IP rights for your NFT like it is with uh, most of the collections. Let's assume you want to set up a travel agency. You could that, use that as your logo. You can produce merch. You can make that your own logo. So all of these things are utilities with the key utility. If we talk about monetary utility, you getting back cash without doing anything by just owning it. 
Um, so this is the technique, how it works. If you book a ticket um, today, and uh, then you use the slider, and depending on how many points you already collected, you just reduce your cash. So I always say, everybody who ever flies on Air Baltic and not using it is just leaving money on the table because we as an airline give out these points to everybody who is in this frequent flyer program. There's a certain, if you take 100 euros ticket price today, then a certain percentage of this is cost for us, which we give back in form of points. And somebody who doesn't collect these points just doesn't take that money and, 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 and we can keep this to ourselves, which we don't want. Uh, you can then spend these points either, as I said, uh, on cash, uh, on, on uh, the ticket cost, or you collect them to, to get something else later. Today on OpenSea, we choose uh, the East blockchain for our program and we are listed on OpenSea, so you can uh, buy them on OpenSea. At the moment, you can still mint them. There is uh, currently around 5,000 sold. Another 5,000 can still be minted. Um, not many are available for sale, as you can imagine, because you have to stake them in, in our frequent flyer program to get the points, so people are not selling them. Um, who is familiar with OpenSea sees this, so you would see your NFT then uh, as any other NFT on a, on a marketplace. You can sell it, uh, which means you stop earning then loyalty points. If you sell your IMI card, which you cannot, uh, then you would not step, stop getting points because you can't sell your card. In our case, this NFT can be sold and it's over for you collecting points, but the person who holds it would now collect points. Um, so what is... What is uh, what if you have a couple of them? So if you collect enough points, this is the example I use when I talk in Europe, as, as I've been talking in Silicon Valley uh, two weeks ago in New York about this, then we just flip the chart and tell people they can go from New York to Riga. Here I tell you, you can go Riga, Paris, Riga, Amsterdam, as we don't fly to New York, and then you can basically reach any destination in the network of Air Baltic or Air France KLM in the world by using the points. So it's not just limited to, to what we do. You just need to have enough points to do that. And what we always say uh, when we speak here, we say New York is just six planes away because that would mean you're not spending a penny. You own six planes as an NFT and after collecting one year, you have sufficient points for a free flight to New York. That is an example of, of a real utility of an NFT which uh, Baltic has built. I mentioned earlier you have the top tier, so in our case it's called VIP program um, and normally you would do 50 flights a year or 60 in the beginning on Air Baltic and as you've done so many flights and there is people who achieve that, you become then a top tier customer in the frequent flyer program. In our NFT program, you become that if you buy 25 NFTs. And then you would say, who on earth is doing this? Currently, I think we have 25 people who just did that. They bought themselves 25 of these NFTs just to get that VIP card because it gives them every time they fly fast track, lounge access, and all the other benefits you have if you're a top tier member. And the best thing is you only have that as long as you want because you can sell your NFTs you get basically the money back depending on the market price. You sell it in the market, but then your, your, your frequent flyer status is gone. So what we also introduced is you can indirect through the NFT buy the top tier frequent flyer status. We get a lot of uh, questions from airlines around the world because that is something passengers actually demand. They would like to have the top tier status for, for flying, but maybe only for a limited time. And... Um, what we now go beyond that, so you saw the NFT, we did that, it's out there. And of course, we're not leaving it there, we are building a brand. So Planes today, it's, it's not even a year old, will be a brand in the future. Air Baltic is a strong brand and we are building another brand on the side, which is called Planes. And you will see it more and more in the daily life because here you see our first crazy week deals. So we're integrating the Planey as something which the customers um, will see and recognize. We are doing games and you will see it more and more in the daily life of Air Baltic because we are creating a brand. On the other hand, you can be the owner of an NFT which is representing this brand. And doing all of this in the last years uh, has brought us in the world into a position 
where we are mentioned on each conference, uh, not, not only local conferences, as I said, uh, all over the world now. Uh, this is not done by us. These are global brands, and uh, there's only one airline mentioned. And if you look at the other brands on the table here, uh, you can tell what it means for us coming from, as we heard earlier, a small country, Latvia. We are incredibly proud that uh, we pull that off. And people keep asking uh, when I'm talking about it, and from these big brands, I'm sitting with them in panels, and then they say, how do you guys do this? What is the magic around your people in-house? And I say, we are from Latvia, that's the magic. So, yeah. so our magic is coming from here and having a lot of talent, uh, which we, I think, rightly use uh, to do that. So that's where we are today. Uh, we have Planes, and we're building on Planes uh, marketing. Uh, Elena sitting here is doing a lot around it, and, and you will all see this once you're in our ecosystem and flying on us. The next step is we have today these three, uh, f and that will stay, the, the 850,000 members will become more. Uh, the ones who hold the NFT and our members in the program will benefit from it uh, in a different way. But we want to go further, and we started the whole thing only to go on the blockchain a step further. And, and we hear a lot, we are not there yet, but we will go there. And, and, and uh, what we want to do, we want to interconnect the different partners because us being alone and having an NFT and just doing this is not enough. For the future, we want to tokenize uh, the, the frequent flyer points, which means at the very end, everybody who is in our loyalty program, whether he knows it or not, receives tokens on the blockchain and um, the vision currently is that you're on open sea and you have the three cards they're not anymore as a loyalty card but they just you just have them in your wallet yeah you have an nft and we illustrated it here this is not available yet we just took the open sea page and uh, you see the amount of numbers there I, I don't know whether you can read it so there would be 850,000 uh, basic members then uh, 4,000 uh, frequent flyers, and then VIPs, 1,627. That's the current number today. And depending on what status you have, you would then uh, on OpenSea have that. And, and how we intend to do it, whoever is a member in the frequent flyer program, we drop him a, a, an NFT in his wallet, and then he collects whatever we say he collects. So the same thing, but fully transitioned onto the blockchain. Um, we are not there yet. There's, uh, there's a lot of adoption needed, uh, mainly the, the whole uh, subject of people owning a wallet and, and getting uh, familiar with crypto. We have that experience in Air Baltic. The senior management in Air Baltic for years, all of them are holding NFTs and fully understanding it. But the moment we leave this conference and we go to the city or we ask our normal frequent flyers, it's too much for them. It's too complicated to get a MetaMask. It's too complicated to deal with the whole thing. So the mass adaption will come. People probably will not even know that they have a, an NFT. And at that time, we will definitely be ready to switch it on and then transition all of our frequent flyers onto the blockchain and have the program fully tokenized. Um, why is this important? Because each step we do here is significant cost saving. You can imagine how costly such a program is to run once we run it fully tokenized and digital. Already now with the East blockchain changes, we have significant reduced cost and this will go further. So at the end of the day, we're a business to make money. We're building a brand. We go into the future on the blockchain. We are number one in the world leading and we will not give up that position here because we're always a step ahead and will be, I guess, because what we have already is so far from what other uh, companies have that we can only benefit from what others develop because we're also good in copying if something is good. So we're not shy. If something does something better, we look at it. If it is Nike, if it is Adidas, Porsche, whatever, we're looking at the good stuff and we try to integrate it. It's just a bit too early today to give everybody an NFT because we would uh, make it very difficult for existing uh, frequent loyalty uh, club holders. So, abroad I always use Captain Planey and, and that's my last slide. Uh, I use Captain Planey and show people, especially in the US, what they can do if they buy themselves. Actually, from the US, it's only five planes away. And I always say, if you buy yourself five planes, you can see this wonderful city, Riga. And in the US, they're always very, very happy when they see these old towns because they don't have it. So very happy to be able to speak here. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.